What's good? It's the Rec. We here for Rap Grid. You know what I'm saying? I'm here with my boy. This is a good one for me. I'm here with my boy, Geppetto Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, man. Definitely, for sure. Boston all day. You know what I'm saying? Boston. So before we get into the whole battle rap thing, let's talk. Tell the people out there a little bit about what you do. Um, I do, you know, R&B soul. I'm actually certified. Um, uh, the Godson of Soul in Kinshasa. You can. Uh, the land of Papasi Kimon Kambunga. Um, you can actually check that out. Uh, God's on the Soul, they have my poster there, everything else, you know. I'm doing my God's on the Soul thing right now and R&B Soul, but definitely showing love to uh, D-Rec and a rap grid. A very, very big fan of battle rap, you know, second generation legacy um, leader. So, um... And, and, your, and your new signing situation. Can we talk a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, um, shouts to um, Kelsey and Flawless for really making this happen. Respects to the Brown family. I want I can't express how much I appreciate the Brown family uh, for making it happen with Brick Squad and Waka Flocka. Single coming soon. She got a little hood in her. Brick Squad all day. Woo. Much love, everybody from Brick Squad. Definitely. Respects, man. Who, who do you look for? Who's your favorite battle rap? My favorite battle rap, it, it was Low Deluxe at one point, but Hollow just, I, I gotta give it to Hollow to Don because you gotta, you know, number one, he, he's, he's traveled to every league, every coast, and I feel like the experience is, is mutual. I can connect him because I've been all around the world and not because I'm favoritism. Like you, to me, to be the best battle rapper ever, you have to, you know, battle around the world. You can't just be in one city. And he's traveled everywhere to build his name. So Hollow the Dawn is the greatest battle of all time. You know, to, to where he's reached from before, Everybody wants to see you lose one day, but right now the crown goes to Hollow the Dawn. Like we were talking a little bit earlier about how you said like the industry is kind of a battle similar to, you know what I'm saying, what we do with the lyrics. Can you kind of reiterate that for, um, for the fans? Out I mean really, I've always been into it. I actually, you know, beforehand, before everybody knew me as Geppetto, I actually did a, um, a video shoot with Murder Mook called Dancing with the Devil. He'll, he'll let the fans know. Um, I did a long time ago. I shot it in Boston. He came all the way to the hood and he got super love. Um, and from there, I've always been a battle rap fam, fan and, um, and fam too, you know, because, you know, Murder Mook definitely he puts his work in too. But um, from there, you know, it's just always I analyze punchlines, I analyze wordplay, I analyze hard work. And from there, you know, it's, it's more than just lyrics nowadays everything's changed up in battle rap and so to me i've you know i'm not trying to be a so i have a lot of fan uh, a lot of battle rappers that i like but it's just more so i have my favorite you know so i analyze it that way so also you told me that there's, there's a couple battles you want to see yeah some of these leagues aren't booking yet so yeah can, can you tell us some of those um, when it comes to the battle, I mean, that, that Hollow the Dawn and um, Little Lux was one of the ones that I wanted to see. But right now, other than that, I would love to see, you know, even though they're on the same battle league uh, with record label, I would like to see Murder Mook versus Cassidy. It's, I think it should be a friendly battle, you know? That's an that's a, that's a old rival. Yeah, yeah. You want to see that brought back. Yeah, definitely. Def I would love to see that brought back. It started raining a little bit, you know what I mean? So we had to change up location. So uh, you saying you was interested in seeing the Mook and Cassidy rival. Yeah, that, that Mook and Cassidy has to go down, number one, because it's more so of, like, I'll give you the reasoning behind that. I understand, like, it's still rivalry behind that. I don't understand the situation where they, you know, I understand you guys on the same record label, but it's still bars over everything. So, uh, you'd rather see, like, uh, Cassidy and Mook as opposed to, like, even what Meek Mill and Cassidy had. I mean, the Meek Mills and Cassidy is not really anything. Like, I love Meek Mills do music. I love it. But as far as battle rap, I think, you know, personally, in my suggestion, I'm a big fan of Meek Mills. But I just think when it comes to battle rap, I think he shouldn't step into that. Like, that's not his league. You know, I think that, you know, I love his music. I, I party to his music, everything. But I think that Cassidy, when it comes to battle rap, it would be terrible. I, uh... Couple more 
more things I want to touch on. Now, the interesting thing is like, even a lot of people who are into battle rap, if they kind of a casual fan, they're not really into the female side. Mm -hmm. We've had talks about who are some of the females you think are dope too? They can maybe either mess with the dudes or you anticipate their battles as much as the men. Number one, Young Gaddis. Like, she's number one. She's number one, you know, like, even though she has a she has a cup come up, I don't want you guys to think this because I'm next to direct. Like it's a reason why that you gotta understand she has punchlines and her her creativeness is is to another level, you know. With that, but I would love to see it's it's, it's it goes to me, Young Gaddis, Jazz, and Couture, and those are three ones I would debate out of, and until it's title shown from there. Then we'll see exactly who's the queen of battle rap. Alright, and um the last thing is uh like like just from your perspective, an industry perspective, where can you see this battle rap thing going? And, and, and like where would you like to see it go as a fan? I would love to see it just connect as a positive note. Like everybody I don't I don't like the to the structure of UW come you know, let's keep it real, you know, competing with URL and King of the Dot, you know what I mean? You know, everybody just come together. It's enough money out here in the world. I'm in Atlanta right now, I'm with direct. You know, you guys seen the work I put in. You seen everything I've done and you see exactly where it's coming to. You know, I'm sipping on wine expensive, I'm making enough money. You guys make enough money too? Come together and and make it happen. You know, make one big event, UW, King of the Dot, and URL TV, all together. Make enough money, all you guys can make money together. Let's, 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 let's build on unity first. When unity comes together, we all, imagine the committee. Think about it like this. You think that pay-per-view boxing has 100 members? Behind that pay-per-view on TV with boxing is over 1,000 members. There's not 1,000 members on URL TV. There's not 1,000 members on King of the Dot TV. There's not 1,000 members on UW. Unity. That's what we're gonna build on. Let's do it. All right. Once again, appreciate it. My man, Geppetto Jackson. Look for him real soon, like a lot of a lot of real big things. Controversy, but you guys, the real Hollywood people know my work I put in. You know the name. 